is Jessie and welcome to my channel. Now this has been a highly requested video based on my TikTok and Instagram and I've been putting it off for quite some time but it's finally here. So I'm going to give you a tour about everything in this PC room and a little bit about my specs. So I really hope you enjoy this video and let's get started. Let me give you some background as to why I built my gaming setup. During quarantine time, I was dating this guy who was super into gaming and I loved games as a kid but wasn't so into it at the time and only had my laptop. So eventually this guy ended up cheating on me and somehow the gamer girl inside me just exploded. So I started streaming as a quarantine hobby and I knew nothing about Twitch in general but with the money I saved I used it to change my brother's room since he moved out into my gaming space. So let's start off with the most requested item, which is my desk. I'm using two Lindemann tabletops in the 59 inches from Ikea, and I have them squished together to form an L shape. So when you have the tabletops squished together, they do form a line, but it's honestly no big deal. And of course, no setup is complete without Alex drawers, but I'm not going to be showing you what's inside my Alex drawers because it's super duper messy on the inside. So let's talk a little bit about the underside of my desk. As you can tell, I have a ton of wires under my desk, so what helped the most was power strips, cable baskets, and cable clips. Now I'm going to show you my baby, which is my PC. Right now my PC is set to white, but I do change the colors all the time. So my PC is sitting inside a Leon Lee 011 full tower case, and it also has white vinyl tape around it. As for the inside, I'm using the AMD Ryzen 7, Asus Prime motherboard, Corsair Vengeance memory, Sabre rocket storage, RTX 2060 Super 8 video card, and the Corsair power supply. My CPU cooler and fans are from ID Cooling, and although I love the pink products, I am planning to switch them out eventually, as the RGB is actually really limited with the colors as it does use a mini controller. My Sakura backplates are from V1 Tech, and I have a tiny little figurine of RAM. For my monitors, I have two Asus VG249Qs, and they're on the Viva White dual monitor arms. I absolutely love these monitors, they're slim and they have great color quality. As for my mini table stand, I actually got this on eBay from the BT21 collection for Cookie. This mini table is so perfect and cute for hiding all the wiring that I have in the back and holding my stream deck and other cute things such as my fortune cat light and my milk carton that has some switches in it. So I've been exploring more keyboards recently, so the one I'm using now is the Tofu 60 acrylic with Geishan red switches and Sakuramichi keycaps. And as for my keyboard cable, this cap paw is actually from Amazon, it came in a little set, and the wire is from swiftcables.com. And of course I had to give you a little clickety clack test. And on the other side of my keyboard, we have my Razer Viper Ultimate Wireless Mouse. It's very lightweight and it's actually perfect for my super small hands. The mouse also comes with a charging dock that I hide behind my PC tower since I like a little less wires on my desk, but I love how it also has an RGB glow to it. For my mouse pad, I'm using the Razer Goliath mouse pad and it's huge. It has RGB lighting and I've eaten a ton on this mouse pad and I've stained it like crazy with food, but it's easy to clean and I haven't needed to replace it yet. Some other things on my desk that I always have are my bunny phone stand, it's perfect for when I make TikTok videos, and my soccer coasters because I drink a lot of boba drinks in here and I can't have stains on my table. I also have a fluffy tissue box, my nose is always running while I'm streaming, I don't know why, so it's an essential. Then we have my bean boozled, it smells like barf on the inside, I hate opening it. And lastly, my LED clock, which actually isn't even showing the right time. My headset is every pink gamer girl's dream, the Razer Kraken Kitty. This is actually my second time of purchasing them, and they're sitting on the Razer base station. I used to have a black mic arm stand and tried to spray paint it white, but it didn't go well, so this white mic arm stand is from Ghoulie on Amazon. It's perfect for my HyperX Quadcast S, and I really love the color changing features on it and how you can actually tap on it to mute. And on the top, I've also taped on some angel wings that used to be hair clips for some extra cuteness. So of course the space above my monitor, something is missing here. Well this is where my streaming camera goes, which is the one I'm using right now to film, which is my Sony a6400. I custom built a camera stand for it using a C-clamp and a ball mount, and along with my wires to my Elgato cam link and my dummy battery for streaming to help keep my camera running longer. Let's talk about the thing I sit my butt in for many hours, the Pink Bunny Audible Gaming Chair. I ordered mine off Amazon and there were a lot of mixed reviews about it, but as someone who's very petite, it fits my body well, and for extra cushion, I've added a cat paw pillow from Blossom Memento, and instead of the bunny ears, I actually traded mine out for an 8 peach headband because I actually love peaches. 
A big part of my gaming setup are these walls right here as they appear the most in my photos and videos. Now these shelves were from Lowe's and a lot of these items on my shelf are either gifted to me or things that I've just bought throughout the years. However, most of the items that are bought are from Amazon or Ikea. There's a lot of fake plants that I have on the shelf and a peach items because I really do love peaches and anything that's just honestly pink. So adding items to the shelf at first was really scary and I didn't know how to approach it because I didn't know what to put. But now I'm just constantly adding more items to it and changing up the order. And on this wall here we have some artwork of me done by lovely artist on Fiverr. In this corner we have the Hovet mirror from Ikea where I take tons of outfit photos. The seat cushion was a good find from Marshalls and my green plant was actually from Michaels. And thank goodness it's not a real plant because it would not survive. On my back wall I have the Calyx shelf unit from Ikea filled with plushies and cute things I could find. And on top are my A peach plushies and my peach purse. And as a black pink stand I had to have their light stick. But along with that I have an A peach humidifier and an empty boba fridge. But hanging on my wall is my logo which is custom made from Etsy. So let's talk about the overall lighting in this room. Of course we had to have all the RGB to give it that pink and warm vibes. So along the desk, mirror, and organizer I'm using the Gobi LED strip lights. And these are awesome so that I can connect them to the app on my phone and then change the colors there. And they were also super easy to install. So these are the colors that I use the most. As you can tell, they're more orangey and reddish tone. They complement my setup and they look much better on camera compared to very hot pink colors, which can look kind of overwhelming. And as for my streaming light, I use this bare ring light. It has easy controls on top of it to adjust to whatever settings I want. For my PC tower, it comes with this little controller to change the colors and different modes and brightness, so it is quite limited to the colors that it can change to. For my Instagram photos, I tend to have a hard time having my PC tower match to my setup, so I tend to change it to white, purple, or red. On this wall, you can tell I have my window here, so during the day, it was actually really hard to stream and make content since there was just way too much light, so I added blackout curtains and fairy lights. The fairy lights bring in such a warm feeling, especially since they're so long that they touch the ground. Lastly, I have my pink rug, and yes, I put it on top of carpet because it just makes it extra cozy and pink, and Chewie likes to sleep on it. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much. I hope you enjoyed this setup tour, and if you're looking for more photos and videos, be sure to check me out on TikTok and Instagram, but I'm on all social media platforms, so be sure to check me out there, and be sure to like and subscribe for more content. Bye!